debut in New York City for the RuPaul's Drag Race Season 8 season finale. These queens are ready to take this title home. You have to watch it and see who takes the crown. So, this season of Drag Race, what have you learned? I've learned that I can't walk in heels or I can't dance. <laughs> you are absolutely beautiful. Thank you. I love your whole entire character. <laughs> where does it come from? I know it comes from like who you are, but like, what really brings out that inspiration? I mean, growing up, I watched like, a lot of animations mm -hmm. and that was like my biggest like love at the time. Right. And then I grew up older and I fell in love with the world of fashion. So right. I was like, why not merge the two of them for my own personal setup? Right. Okay. So can you tell us if you're going to win? Uh, we have no idea. <laughs> well, I hope you do. I really think that we need a big personality and your costumes are amazing. Thank you. <laughs> amazing. Wow. Good luck. Thank you. In everything that you do, okay? Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. What's going on, Team Hollywood? I'm with New York. How are you? I'm fabulous. I'm you look so fabulous. Happy. Thank you, my love. I'm happy to be here tonight mm -hmm. celebrating the queens. Yeah, of course. Femininity, womanhood. Most definitely. And I can't wait to see who wins. And I can't wait to see you back on TV again. Oh, my goodness, yes. Why, have, tell you. why haven't they given you your own show again? My roster <laughs> is so yeah. <laughs> a bitch can say that you literally are gonna be sick of me. Oh, I have so much stuff coming. Let me, I, I have to say, I am so proud of you for family therapy. Oh, thank you, baby. I think you have shown so much progress versus everything that you've been through. I am very, very proud of you. Yeah, because that was the hardest thing that I've ever done. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that you recognize the growth, mm -hmm. the evolution. Right. You know, talking about family shit is always difficult. Of course. So is there going to be another season of The Next 15 or you don't know? Oh my goodness, well, I have three reality shows oh, on well. my own hey. coming out. Nothing wrong with money, right? Season two of next 15. Most definitely. Do you? Do yes. you like it? What did you like about the show? Talk about the next 15. Um, even though it was a reality show, I think it was very different than most reality shows. We got to see New York in full effect again, and it was it was absolutely amazing. I like that. Regardless of what anybody else says, and I'm not saying it because I'm on camera, New York owns the next 15. Honey. Sorry for you can forget Claudia Jordan and all of them. Honey. It, they needed to show. They needed to just rename the. <laughs> Right? Yes, and I agree with you. Come on, Carlos, give it to her. I love Carlos King. <laughs> He's a personal friend of mine, and there's so much going on with us. Yeah. I'm excited. You're so beautiful. Do you understand this? I'm about to twirl you. Twirl, nigga. You gotta twirl. I, I, I'm mic'd up right now. I can't call you. Off. Okay. I, I, look, I look pretty. I think I look nice. Look how gorgeous you are. <laughs> your skin is on fleek. Your hair, your eyes, everything. I'm trying to. I'm trying to compete with you. This is going on. Okay. This, this is a competition, but well, you win. She's, she's the. She's the winner. <laughs> All right, guys, well, here you go, New York. We want her back on TV. Carlos King, give her her own show. Yes, I have so much good stuff going on. Yes. You are adorable. You know that, though, right? You fucking I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be humble about it. Yeah, but you say it. You say it. Okay. <laughs> What's up, everyone? It is Miss Shangela. Hi. She's one of the baddest in the drag industry, let me tell you. She, she's on the basis of the formation tour. She's booked. Well, thank you, hallelujah. I'm on the move. You know, I'm really excited. I have a brand new residency in Las Vegas. It's a show called 53X yes. at the Paris Hotel. Yes. Five nights a week, you have to come. I'm right next door to J-Lo and Britney. Uh-oh. You giving them a run for your money? Oh, baby, I'm running every night. <laughs> oh, most definitely. What's, your, what's the favorite thing about doing your own show? You know, it's fantastic because I work with a team of eight dancers who are amazing. Yeah. And the show is produced by the people who created the Chippendale show. So it's fun, it's sexy, it's sassy. Mm -hmm. And I'm just really blessed to be able to have that opportunity to perform every night for different audiences and crowds. Most definitely. What's next for Shangela? Because you've been well, so much. Honey, there's always something. The residency takes a lot of my time right now because the show is five nights a week. Right. But I'm also working on a new album oh. that will be out before the end of summer. Yay! Hey. Very excited. People are saying, Miss Shangela, what's the new music? I'm like, baby, it's coming. Also, I have a, the third season of our show Cocktails and Classics that's on Logo yes. will be out coming very soon and I'm in the uh, new film Hurricane Bianca that is first premiering uh, at the Toronto Film Festival in July so I'm excited oh my God. 
Uh, are you excited to host yeah. tonight? I am super excited to host tonight. I've been watching season eight. It's a tight race. Yes, it Somebody's is. got to win 100000 Yes. And somebody's got to loan me $50 at the end of the night. So you're not, <laughs> are you going to pop out any boxes this time? Honey, I'm known for popping out of just about everything. No boxes safe, so who knows? Well, there you go, Miss Shangela. What's going on, Team Hollywood? I'm in New York City for the RuPaul's Drag Race season finale event with Bob the Drag Queen. Hey, girl. How are you? I'm in a very good mood. Living the dream, honey. Of course. If you could sum up this season in, let's say, Sickening. two words. Sickening. Okay. Sorry, that's, that's good enough for two words. <laughs> <laughs> what did you learn this season that you probably you didn't know before the show? I learned that uh, TV's harder than it looks. TV is harder than it looks, girl. Right. We see an hour, but you guys probably are filming for about 12 hours. They, exactly. they edit off about 11 hours. I'm pretty sure you're like, can you just get that camera out of my face for two seconds? No, no I, don't, I don't mind the camera. Right. I mean, okay. if you sign up for it, it's what you want. Right. Most definitely. You, you don't have to do it. You can leave whenever you want. You of know? course. I don't have to do <laughs> <laughs> So how was it working with Mama Ru? It was amazing. I mean, RuPaul is like a praying mantis. She's really beautiful, but very scary. Mm -hmm. Imagine a six foot four praying mantis. You're like, well, that's amazing. I want to look at it. But I'm afraid it will kill me. <laughs> what was your hardest challenge? Um, maybe the makeover challenge. I'm not like a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. I just want to do my own face. Right. Well, on that episode, I could do my own face. That one episode. But. Right. But that's always good to have your own identity, especially outside of what people think drag should be. Yeah. You're, you're doing really good. Thank you. So, what's next for you? Well, next thing Besides is... winning tonight. Oh, are you, are you sending it to everyone? No, oh, of okay. course not. I'm gonna watch you when you interview Kim Chi. You, go ahead. <laughs> no, um, I just released my first first music video and, and song. It's number 12 on the dance charts. And the very next thing is June 18th. I'm filming my stand-up documentary special. If you want to help me get, make my documentary happen, it is called Queen for the People. And you can go to seedandspark.com. Okay. Well, I'm I'm definitely rooting for you. Thank you. Yes. Thank and you. Keep up the great work. I'm trying. I'm trying to do the Lord's work. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm trying to do the Lord's work, bro. <laughs> But then you guys have it from Bob the Drag Queen. Keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully she wins tonight. <laughs>